Well, uh, the next year you worked with Jennifer Lopez. And uh, you did If I Had Your Love. Mm -hmm. And uh, that went number one. And I guess she called you like, yo, we're number one. And you said, didn't I tell you? So you already knew that was going to be a number one song. Um, and you know what? I can't say you know whenever you're gonna if anything's gonna be number one. I do get feelings. Like you get feelings, like you know. Um, I I remember when I met Jennifer Lopez for the first time when they were telling me about her and and what they wanted to accomplish, and then I kind of in that moment felt like I knew exactly what she needed. And at the time, she wasn't really a singer. She did Selena, but she's really just lip syncing the actress Selena songs. Yeah. And, you know, yeah, she was a fly girl. And she yeah. was in, you know, was it money, money, money train, money, money train, money train. Yep. You know, cool girl with a great body, but no one was really looking at her as a singer. But you actually saw some. Yeah, I mean, well, you know, I can't take all the credit. Tommy Matola saw something and he called me, and he was like, "I got this artist. She's an actress, but I think she had, I think she has what it takes to be a superstar." And he said, I want you to come meet with her. And I came and met with her. And instantly, I, the personality in like the first five minutes was like, it was like, whoa. Yeah. It just, I, I, it just cut through. Yeah. I've interviewed her before. She's yeah. like really dope in yeah, person. Yeah. yeah. When you meet, when you work with different artists, you'll see like certain, certain personalities just really cut through. Hers cut through. And, and I was like, okay, I know what she needs in my mind. And, you know, at, 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 especially in that, in that I still got this, this knack of, figuring out what I think the artist needs. And um, I kind of, I was like, yo, she needs to be able to be vulnerable, but she needs to be able to dance and it needs to have a little bit of Latin flavor, but not Latin. Yeah. You know, and I, I went and created it. Well, you co-wrote that song and you produced it. Correct. So you have most of that song. Well, there's no belt. song. There's probably, there's only like maybe two songs in the history of, of everything that I've done that, I didn't actually co-write. Co -write. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you always got your hands in always. it. Always. Or else always. you don't want to do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, uh, If I Had Your Love went to number one. If You Had My Love. Yeah. If You Had My Love went to number one, yeah. Stayed there to pro for, for a nice little okay. seven, I think seven to nine weeks, something like that. And she called you up freaking out. And yeah. you were like, did I tell you? Yeah. I said, did I tell you? Yeah. I mean, because I told her, I said, we're going when I, when I first finished it, I was like, I got your number one in my hand. She's like, what? What? I said, I got my number one. I got your number one. I'm going to come play it for you. And I brought her over to the studio and played it for her. And she was like, I, I got to do this. I got to do this ASAP. And that was um, <laughs> and that was the beginning. Like, yeah, it took off for her. And then I did a remix, too, that get, get, that extended it. I did a remix where I took um, uh, a Michael Jackson sample or whatever from Liberian Girl. Mm. And that began playing like crazy. Like, that's the remix that they were playing. So it just extended the legs of that record. Didn't Dallas produce that? Which one? Liberian Girl? Liberian Girl? No. No? Okay. I don't think so. I think it's Quincy. 